Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to take you guys on a, a fun little photo shoot at uh, Sydney Argyle, The Rocks. Uh, it's going to be a really quirky shoot. There's a lot of intricate places here, different streets. We've got a beautiful couple ready to go. Today I'm rocking the Canon R6, mainly 35 or 50. There are cars here, so I don't know if you can hear me. Um, but all the shots I'll be doing are on Prime Lens anyways. Uh, you'll be seeing all the edited photos as we go along, so settings are in the actual video itself. If you like what you guys see, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what photos you guys like from the content, and uh, I'll see you guys in the shoot. All right, what's happening? We're back. I'm super excited because it's been ages since I've last spoken to you guys and did a come shoot with me style of a video. Lockdown is completely done in Sydney, and I'm ready to shoot and show you exactly what I do in today's uh, BTS video. First of all, starting off, uh, as you can tell, I'm giving you a before and after comparison of all the shots, which means that my preset will be available very, very soon. I know a whole bunch of you have been asking me about it and I can't wait to you know, offer it to you guys. It's gonna be great. Um, in terms of today's setup, I'm rocking a Canon uh, R6, mainly in today's shoot and predominantly using prime lenses. Combination of 35, 50 and 85. Literally, I do not touch anything else. Right now, I am working with the light as backlight. Uh, considering we're shooting in Sydney uh, at the rocks near Argyle, um, you know, where we are, basically the sun was a bit high. So I thought at the time, let's just get a combination of, you know, backlit shots before we move a little bit more into shaded areas. When it comes to twirling shots like these, the first thing you want to do, and shout out to uh, Elizabeth's shoes, they were pretty cool. Um, you want to just keep shooting as much as you possibly can and get as many shots as possible to cherry pick the exact one that you need. And this for me was that image, which I was super happy with. Um, in terms of the actual location itself, uh, it was tricky a, a little bit to shoot here because of the lighting situation that we had. Um, specifically within the actual cave, we had a lot of light from the back, so I had to expose properly for the front. Uh, hence why all of my settings are listed in the photo itself, so that you guys can take a look at exactly what I was shooting and how I was shooting it at. We moved on to this kind of brick rustic sort of a outdoor area and shout out to a friend of mine, Govi, for showing me um, this area, which is really cool. And basically here, I was just playing around with different angles. Um, I always like to shoot low. You'll always see me shoot low to the ground, which is what I tend to do um, within most of my time uh, whenever I'm doing a couple shoot because I love to give my couples a bit more height. Um, and again, just the before and after comparison of each of the photos. I hope you guys like the preset, but for me, it's just, it's my main one. I've been using it for forever. In situations like this, uh, I always just get a variety of different looks, uh, different images, usually with like, you know, a lot of connecting shots, you know, head touches, uh, slight body angles, hands on, you know, the, the groom's chest. Um, and I always just want to get a variety of images throughout the entire shoot. So I'll constantly keep changing and mixing things up. Um, in this case, uh, I actually really got a bit of flair with, with these images, which I kind of liked. Um, and again, you know, it's objective, so play it as you will, but flair for me was, was really, really cool. Sometimes I get a combination of solo shots as well. And where we're shooting at in the Argyle and the Rocks, it's kind of like a lot of buildings and great, you know, deal structures. So it was super awesome to shoot here and light was absolutely beautiful. So, um, you know, I had to get a combination of solo shots, but couple shots as well, every time we moved. Um, the entire shoot itself is around about, we, we did it, I think for about two to three hours. And these guys were absolute troopers. So big shout out to, you know, uh, Elizabeth and to Romit. And uh, also a big shout out to Fariha, um, for hair and makeup for for today um, yeah Elizabeth looked absolutely absolutely stunning and you know the the look was perfect um, shots like this were really fun where you get perspective shots so try and use your environment a lot uh, I mean this door for me was really cool so I just literally wedged them in there and I got this shot which I was like super happy with 
Um, same thing with walls, corners, straight lines, empty backgrounds. You could do a lot with perspective and you know, you always wanna make the best of it. Uh, for me, I just try and find where light sits first. Um, in this case, it was hitting this wall really like evenly. And then I just got Elizabeth in with that, with, uh, with Romith and it was a really great shot and I kinda liked it, so yeah. All the time I'm just organizing their body positions and structures just to make sure that I'm getting the best angle So every now and then you'll see me interrupting the shoot if I don't like something just to get that that right angle uh, Which usually helps all the time We moved on to um, Another area within the Argyle. Unfortunately, my shoot didn't capture this but uh, I was super happy with these perspective shots I did this on the 85 so I had to get a telephoto lens out um, Really loved it the pink wall the green doors um, yeah, it was just a great statement shot and it was fun to just create these quirky images. Um, we found a red door. So Argyle and the rocks is, is kind of famous for all these like quirky places. So it was absolutely beautiful. Um, pro tip, if you want to get natural shots, just get your groom to tickle your bride. Hopefully she's, you know, ticklish. Um, in this case, we got some great shots, but yeah, it always tends to work to get like authentic reaction shots. Um, I also found out that like, I, I love natural hair shots, so whenever like brides are brushing their hands through their hair, it always kind of feels a bit nice. It's it's really just candid. So whenever you're trying to get again just more movement, and you're a bit new to the game and you're not really too shy to do it, try and you know interact by instructing through um, you know actions like you see there. Same thing for um, spinning shots. I think I froth over spinning shots, and I just can't stop getting them it was just like it's just the best thing like how do you not get a spinning langa shot with the outfit um the only thing is you need to take a ton of these because you know either you know she's blinking or she's not looking right or whoever it is is spinning but in this case liz she nailed it so um i was super happy with this so you just may as well just take as many as you possibly can same thing with perspective shots um just angle it up get the right angle that you need um, in this in this case, I love having foreground shots of Romith in the front and Liz in the background just because it's, yeah, it looks really cool. Sometimes in, in city shoots, you got to be mindful of like traffic and bike riders, of course. So it is a bit hard to get like clean shots, but if you can get them, you know, well done um, and just pay attention to your, you know, surroundings so you don't die or get hit by a car or anything like that. So unless you've got public liability insurance, then, you know, happy days, don't worry about it. But you know, something to be mindful of. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just waffling. Apart from that, uh, we've wrapped it up almost in the last 20 minutes on this like terrace. It was overlooking um, the CBD skyline and I loved this shot here. By far one of my favorite shots and I, I enjoy the cropped shot as well. It's always great to get, you know, mid frame just to highlight the ski city skyline. Um, this is a variation to the twirl. It's kind of where I get the bride to play around with her langa and move back and forth uh, just to get a couple of different varieties in this. And it's really cool. I mean, it's great. And I usually just get the groom to look at her and admire her and be all in love and all that, you know, cute stuff. And it always usually ends up being really, really nice. A couple of variations here as well, just looking around in different areas um, and just getting, you know, wide open shots, usually at f1.4, just to get that shallow depth of field, but not so much to, you know, not visibly see the background. Either way, super happy with them. And uh, yeah, now we're coming to the last bit for the entire shoot and, you know, what other classic way of ending it than getting the iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge in the background. Um, and it's exactly what we saw here. So super happy with this image, great, great light. And I absolutely loved the fact that, you know, we wrapped it up with, um, you know, just a nice, not golden hour, but you know, it was great light uh, towards the end. Yep. Uh, guys, that was a shoot. Um, these kids did absolutely amazing. Uh, How did you guys feel? Loved it. Great. Thank you. It was Loved good. It so much fun. Yeah. There you go. They had a fun time. Fun um, day. Fun day. Fun and and Ronnie, he, like he, he just doesn't even love uh, like photos. <laughs> he's just like, he's not he's not a fan. But yeah, absolute trooper fan. Yeah. Had a great time. Certainly man. appreciate it. No, that's great. brilliant. That's brilliant. Time, uh, guys, if you guys love the video, um, what do they do? Press say say like say like. Say like. Say like. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed the video, like. Say comment. Say comment. Comment. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's all of you. Like, so, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. 
and we'll see you guys in the next week's video.